Researchers say if you can do something for 30 days straight, you can actually rewire your brain to make it a permanent habit. That's why today we're putting that theory to the test with our next challenge, 30 days of sex. <laughs> so we selected two frustrated couples. It's not going to start in the studio, just for the record. <laughs> but we did, we got two frustrated couples. We asked them to get their groove back, asked them to put work, children, and other responsibilities on the back burner in the name of spicing things up. Let's meet those challengers. Well, our life is pretty great. Let's slow down a little bit in the um, bedroom. Our sex life was amazing in the beginning. A couple times a day, random public places, and we were just your really young couple wanting to have sex all the time. And ever since we had our first child, things went downhill. I miss wanting sex. I, I miss that anticipation and the desire. I'm a guy, I just miss sex. Tyler's moves are he'll come up to me and start groping on me or kissing me or, you know, grind up on me. And definitely when it comes to sex, he is the initiator. I could care less. I love my wife a lot, of course. And I think that if we had more sex, we would actually get closer. Do you think you can do it for 30 days straight? You're the, you're the one who has to really... A step up to the plate, I think... Make it happen. You know, it, it's a sacrifice I'm prepared to make. <laughs> It would be amazing to get what we had back. So they started things off with a lot of gusto, but our couple certainly faced their share of setbacks along the way. Hi guys, we're getting ready to start day one of our 30 day sex challenge. We'll see how this goes. Naturally, I wasn't in the mood, but Chad was persistent enough and got me going. Anything else? 30 days. Looks like a long time right now. <laughs> she came home, we had dinner, and she pretty much just threw herself at me. And it was kind of nice. My libido still hasn't kicked in, but we have consummated the marriage eight days straight. I'm very dedicated to the cause. We are all super tired and exhausted, so unfortunately nothing happened tonight. It seems like because we're having sex more frequently, like every night. Um, Chad is happier and he's more willing to help with things around the house, and so that makes me happier. Because we're almost done with this challenge, and I'm having a lot of fun now, and I can't wait to do it tonight. 